This property was built in 1911. It was known then as the Multnomah County Poor Farm. Brothers and entrepreneurs McMiniman renovated the campus in 1990. The duo have opened over 60 locations in Oregon and Washington State. They are also brewers who save properties under threat of destruction and revive the place's bones. At least nine of their locations are on the National Register of Historic Places. Restoring structures such as these, among other things, can cause a bit of energy shift during the rebuild. However, the brothers have a process to cleanse properties of interest. A procession of bagpipes and burning sage coined spirit cleanse. Any remaining ghosts are further immortalized in the ghost log book for guests if needed. However, a pentagram found in room 215 made of animal bones during renovation is concerning. The campus was abandoned for over a decade prior to the current owners. Again is the aforementioned poor farm for the county to assist with Portland's lower to no income population. The state confronted the homeless called deplorables then problem by territorial legislature. This laid the responsibility of the vagrants upon the county that held them. Edgefield took on many of these poor folks, running a workhouse style setup. Every worker had to abide by a strict set of rules and meet the demands of their workload. Failure resulted in punishment at the discretion of the clergy. This arrangement worked for a good 20 years until the Social Security Act became law in 1935. By 1950, poor farms were no longer needed. Edgefield Manor was what this location became. For the next 30 years, the manor was a nursing home and a hospital for mentally ill children. Edgefield became Edgefield Center in 1964. In 1982, the cost to fix Edgefield exceeded county commissioner's budget, so it was closed. The ghost of a woman can be heard at midnight trying to ease her spectral child to sleep with a lullaby. A manager escorted a woman back to her room when she reported the feeling of being watched. A search of the room yielded no intruder, but as the manager turned to exit, a voice shouted, Get out! The guest was promptly moved to another room. There have been several reports of hands on shoulders, typically while the claimant is descending the stairs. The ghost of an elderly woman likes to tap patrons on the shoulders to wake them in the night. Though friendly, her temper can be scary, especially if you leave her room in disarray. The room, of course, is 215. A staff member reported a dark presence in the Black Rabbit restaurant and courtyard. McMiniman's Edgefield also made it to the Yelps list of most haunted hotels in the U.S.